and we are back thanks for clicking on the link welcome to good energy enjoy the content and everyone have a blessed day And Serena is back. Welcome to Good Energy, guys. The huge story of the sports world all over ESPN and the sports media. Serena Williams making her comeback after almost a year off after being injured at last year's Wimbledon. And she did it today in Eastbourne doubles with An Shabor. She took on Marie Buskova and Sarah Cerebos Termal. If you missed this match, you really missed history. And you missed a thriller. Marie Buskova and Sarah Cerebus Termo would take the first set 6 2. And it seemed like they were going to run away with this in a landslide. They broke Serena and Anz twice. And Serena did hold her serve, but Anz was broken twice. And Anz had a very shaky, shaky first set. But they would regroup. They went over the changeover uh, between sets. Serena just told Anz, look, we're not playing bad. It's okay. They're just playing a little level above us, but we're not playing bad. They're just being really aggressive. So what happened in the second set? They kept their composure, stayed calm, even after being broken right off the bat. And again, after being broken right away, this is where things could get out of hand and messy considering you're already down a set. But just seeing the images of Serena console Ans, mentor Ans, was just simply amazing. And they would get it done, ladies and gentlemen, but not after a thrilling second and third set. If you did not see this match in the third, essentially tiebreak is what we would call it since we're playing doubles. And the tiebreak of, you know, winner must win by two at least 10 points. Marie Buskova and Sarah Srebus Termal had match point. Yes. And Marie Buskova just made a horrible mistake. She had both of the ladies off balance and position. All she had to do was keep the ball in play. She went with a looping overhead that was out. And she did not mean to do that. And that would actually give Serena and Anz the opportunity to go up with a match point. And this is where things got a little bit exciting. Yes, that is correct. Anz Jabor hit a ball that was wide. So wide. Yes, they called the review and Serena, her mouth dropped to the ground. She could not believe what we saw. It was literally out by a millimeter. Nonetheless, we would play on and this essentially set up this set up a rally where Marie Buskova and Sarah Srivers Termal had the opportunity to go ahead with another match point and Sarah Cerebus Termal unbelievable mistake. She hit long, she hit wide, all she had to do was keep the ball in play. Serena and Anz would have a match point. And Sarah Cerebus Termal is having nightmares about this point as well. All she had to do, a routine net play, just drop it. Anz and Serena Williams were out of position. There's no way they could have got to this ball. And that's before a rally where Anz and Serena had to save a drop shot. And Serena hustled. This is how you know Serena and Anz wanted this bad. They both had to save a drop shot from Buskova and Serena hustled with all of her energy and might. She ran so fast. She saved the drop shot, kept the ball in play. And that essentially was where Buskova led to the looping overhead out of bounds play. But this play, the match point in particular, Sarah Srebus Termo, all she had to do was keep the ball in play and she could not. She hit long, just a routine drop shot, just drop the ball in. She put a little bit too much pace on it. The ball sailed out of bounds. And Anz and Serena, Anz and Serena victorious in this one. 
an amazing match. It was a thriller, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd was packed. This is the largest crowd we've seen so far at Eastburn. Before the ladies came out, they had a great introduction. The chair empire was all smiles. Marie Puskova and Sarah were smiles and laughing. This was a joy for fans. This was really a treat for fans to see. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't been this excited in a match since maybe Coco versus Iga Swiatek in the French Open. But overall, it's it's been a while. And I want to get into just some of the numbers here right, right quick, guys. The service game... Serena and Ons had four aces to Puskova and Sarah's one. They had four aces. So if they can put together a little bit, a few more aces in this next match, they got a chance here to maybe win it in straight sets. 69% first serve win percentage for Serena and Ons to 64% to Puskova. Uh, the key stat that I want to take a look at here, and this is probably the difference maker, second return points won. Yes, they were very aggressive on the second return. 60% to Buskova's 57%. That's really all it took to, you know, to decide this match was the return points and then the service game with the aces. 69% first serve to 64%, and that's really what did it, plus a little bit of hustle and bustle at the end because, again, Marie Buskova and Sarah Sreva's turmoil, they had match point. They just couldn't close it out, but it took three match points for Serena and Ons to get the victory, and they did it. Now, I want to take a look at their next opponent here. But let's switch gears and take a look at who Serena and Ons will be facing in the next round here of the quarterfinals. Um, Shibuhara was supposed to be playing with Shuko, but she's not, and that's her fellow countrywoman. Uh, but she's playing with Sean, who, again, she has experience with as well. I mean, Shuko and Sean, they're 4-2 and two this year on grass. And we saw them at Nottingham. They made it to the semifinals where they lost to Haddad, Mia, and Zong, who ended up winning uh, the title there. Um, much like Ans and Serena, very similar styles. So I just want you guys to know that Shuko and Sean, they are the favorites in this match Serena and Ans are underdogs and yes we know An Shabur hasn't won a doubles match in, aside from today in two years we know Serena hasn't won a doubles match aside from today in over a year but one thing that I want to discuss and one thing that scares me about this matchup and why they're Shuko and Sean are the favorites is Shuko and she's five foot one guys she is five foot one, and if you ever watch her play, she is very athletic. She is so super fast. That's going to cause problems for Serena. Serena's footwork wasn't all that great. We saw Serena and Ans both take nasty spills on the floor today. So Shuko and her athletic ability has the potential to cause problems for Serena and Ans today. So that is something to be concerned with. But, however, let's get down to the nitty-gritty here. Shuko's 18 and 14 on the year. They are beatable. They can lose. Shuko does have 444 double wins, 265 losses. She has a ton of doubles experience. But, Serena has a quarter of her experience in doubles. But, she's got six more titles. A ton. She's Serena's 14 for 14 in Grand Slam championships. So that we cannot ignore, and we will not ignore. Yes, Shuko is very experienced in doubles, but so is Serena Williams. We're talking about the greatest female athlete of all times here. Here's what I want you to understand here about this matchup. I think Shuko is going to cause a lot of problems when she's off serve playing the net. She's going to cause a lot of problems, and they're going to win games when she's playing the net. But this is going to be the isolator. When Shuko is on serve, I don't think she's going to she's going to be able to hang with An Shabor or Serena Williams forehand. And I think she they will have the opportunity to break Shuko when she is serving. And I think that's going to be the difference maker. If Serena Williams and Anjabur can hold serve, 
then they're going to win this match because Shuko is not going to be able to return those forehands. She is not. When she's playing the net, she's going to score with her athletic ability, but she is not going to hold up against that forehand. Those rockets, heat seeking missiles from Serena Williams. Did you watch that match today? Ans and Serena, the rockets they were blasting at Puskova and Street of Turmoil. Unbelievable. And that's going to be the difference maker in this match. My official prediction, we're going to take An Shabor and Serena Williams on the money line as the underdog. And we're going to see them through to the semifinal, which they'll probably face Magda Lynette and company. And I like Serena to make it to the finals here. What would be great? Getting another doubles title on her way to Wimbledon. And guys, let's switch gears to Serena Williams to go. The experts were saying earlier that Serena don't expect too much from her because she hasn't played in over a year. Her timing's not there. Her form is more, her game form is not there. And Carolina Pliskova had some interesting words to say. She essentially echoed those statements. She said, it's good to have her back. She's one of the greatest, but don't expect too much from her. Being a year off from tennis, the sport is so fast, is a lot of that's a long time away from the sport and just don't expect too much from her don't get your hopes up high i don't know if that was a little disrespectful but she's entitled to her own opinion and to some extent she's absolutely right but other players had some really nice things to say anja bor it's actually funny anja bor said i hope they pair serena up with Iga. someone needs to be Iga." i thought that was so hilarious Paul Bedosa had some nice words to say. She said, look, Serena Williams is the greatest ever. I just know I don't want to be paired in her bracket. She said a lot of the ladies are scared of her. They're scared to play her because she is so good. She's one of the best. She still has it, and she can still play at a high level. Great words from Paula Bedosa. Marie Sacri probably had the kindest, best words to say. Marie Sacri said, she said, growing up in a tennis household, my grandmother always played Venus and Serena matches. She was addicted to Serena and, 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 and Venus matches. And she said, I grew up loving them. I think Serena is the greatest female athlete of all time. I definitely don't want to play her in the tournament. Uh, she still got it and she's still very good and she's the best ever. Great words from Zachary. And, you know, look, guys, it's great, great hearing her. It's great hearing her fellow tennis professionals to say such kind words about her, and I'm going to echo the same. I think she's the best female athlete of all time, and we're picking Serena and Ans to continue this magic here. They are packing the stadium. The fans want to see it. We want to see the win. Serena Williams, on Shabor, underdog for the victory. It's good energy, guys. Click the like button and stay tuned for more preview and prediction videos.